Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Anthony or Big B Stats and where is my creative crypto? Oh, you're up there. <laughs> How are you guys doing? And welcome back to Minecraft Creative Cribs. I'm joined today with Juicy Taz. He was going into his Captain America mood there. That's why he was on top of the bridge. Decided to jump down, sneak attack me, but it didn't quite work because he realized that it was me, I'm coming to tour the world. It's no danger or whatnot. <laughs> but anyway, welcome back to Minecraft Creative Cribs. Uh, how are you guys doing? Hopefully your day is going great. Uh, this is going to be a two-part episode series. Uh, so next Sunday, it will be another episode uh, of this world. And as you can see, uh, we have some skyscrapers, a lot of builds in here as well, and hopefully, uh, I, I have my own build in here. Ho hopefully, I, I always get surprised whenever I see my own build. Uh, this is SP Private Military uh, Headquarters. Ooh, this this is gonna be a little a little intense right now. Starting off in the headquarters, uh, here's a list of all the places. Like you see the lounges offices, restaurants, and things like that. I love like when people have things organized. Now, uh, a lot of builds on here, I don't think he has a lot of the interior done, but again, uh, some things are organizing very well. Now, if you're coming from here from last uh, Sunday, Creative Cribs, also I do wanna apologize for the Echo, uh, still setting up in the office, and I need carpet. <laughs> I think I need sound absorbing things. So I thank you guys for bearing with me. I think I only see about one comment on that ever so often. But thank you uh, for tuning in for that. Not for the echo, but but bearing with the echo if it's too bad. But anyway, uh, last Sunday I asked you guys, I gave you guys a riddle, which was if imagine you're in a dark room, how do you get out? And the answer to that was stop imagining. And I asked you guys to put down some some jokes down below in the comments. And I had a ball reading through most of them and all of them. Uh, it was a lot of jokes and also a lot of riddles as well. So I chose about five or six or so, which I'm going to read off and shout you guys out. Uh, so yeah, let's get this started. Also, as I read off the jokes, if you know the answer, if you're the person that I read off, Try not to comment just yet. Maybe hold off on the comment. I want to give everyone else a chance to answer the joke and see if they got it right. But you have to do this. You, you have to do this legit. So once I say the joke, you must comment down the answer before I say the answer. I'll do like a five second wait before I say the answer. So let's get, get ready to get right into it. This is the communications floor, by the way, which we're on. So this first joke... <laughs> This was by uh, someone named Lucy Young, and they go, what's the difference between a guitar, a fish, and glue? And <laughs> that that's it there. That's the joke there. So, so comment it down below. What do you think? All right, so here it is. You can tune a guitar, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> <laughs> and I was a little stuck here, too, because it says, um, but where does the glue come in? And it says, oh, well... I'm stuck on that bit. <laughs> I thought that was quite hilarious. A great job, Lucy Young, on that joke. Uh, this next joke is going to be by Natalie Darmu, and they go, okay, so this is a riddle, so are you, are you ready? Okay. Billy's mother had three, tri ch three children. Uh, two of them are May and June. What's the third one called? So what is the third child's name? Uh, try to comment it down below. <laughs> This is quite hilarious. Hopefully I can put a smile on some of you guys' faces with these jokes. Okay, so the answer is Billy. And if we pay close attention to that, it says, Billy's mother had three children. So they, they tell you the name of the child at the very first beginning. I thought that was neat. I'll definitely have to use that on some of my friends. <laughs> this next joke was by XX Ultimate, uh, X, Ultimate Max X. And they go, why did the cat sit on the computer? Now, me, if I, if I had to guess, why would the cat sit on the computer? Um, because it was lazy. No, it, it wouldn't be because the cat was lazy. Um, I don't know, but the answer is <laughs> to keep an eye on the mouse. <laughs> Hilarious there. <laughs> and also, if you're paying attention to the world, like, we're in some top, like, it looks like we're, we, we are in the military headquarters. It's like, you can see a lot of things from here. I like the view as well that you get from the buildings. I think I, I captured those the most, like getting views like from the buildings. It's amazing. You can definitely see everything out of there. Okay, 
Here's the next one, which is a pretty tricky one. Uh, so, uh, this one was by Psycho Wolfie. Uh, they go, uh, if a plane crashed on the border of Canada and USA, where would the survivors be buried? Hmm. I was a little stumbled on this one. Uh, and the answer to this is, they survive. They wouldn't be buried. <laughs> and I love the riddles that actually tell you the answers within the joke or even a joke that tells you the the answer within the the actual joke and you can see it said the, where would the survivors be so so they all survive so everything is everything is peachy everything's nice uh city view restaurant Ooh, i re really love to get some eat juicy tasks you have to show me the best the best food you have in the world right now what would captain america eat what would juicy tasks eat <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to the next joke. Uh, this was by uh, the Japan Gamer. Uh, they go, okay, you're in a room with a baseball bat and a ball. How do you get out? And in parentheses, there are no doors or windows. Hmm. You're in a room with a baseball hat, baseball bat. Uh, hopefully, I have a baseball cap as well. Baseball bat and a baseball. And there's no doors or windows. Hmm. I, I don't know, I'm stuck on that one. Okay, let's read the answer. Okay. It is <laughs> strike one, strike two, strike three, you're out. <laughs> I thought that was quite hilarious as well. Uh, this next one was by uh, the only gamer three. Uh, they go, why can't a bike stand up on its own? Hmm. Why can't a bike stand up on it? Technically it could, but it, it, technically it can't. Uh, here's the answer. It's too tired. <laughs> that was one of my favorite jokes as well because you get it, it it's too tired, like it, it has two tires, but it, it's too tired, like exhausted, too tired. It's pretty. It's quite hilarious. Again, feel free to tell your friends some of these jokes as well. I'm pretty sure it may be some uh, they haven't heard. <laughs> okay. A few more to go. We have, this one was by, oh, I think this was by the only gamer as well. They say, uh, what kind of shoes do ninjas wear? <laughs> Which I, I was a little stumbled on this one. I was, I was thinking, but I was like, hmm. But I think I could have figured it out. It's going to be sneakers. <laughs> you get like sneak, sneakers. I thought that was very cool. <laughs> Quite hilarious. I love the fact that you guys uh, were so active in the comments and, and you actually put some jokes down. Very fun and also, you, you'd be surprised. Like, there could be those days where like you're having a bad day and you actually read a joke or, or something, something happens funny or something like that. And it literally makes your day. Uh, it's amazing how that happens. We gotta remember like, yesterday I had a pretty bad day. Uh, it wasn't the best. I woke up like in the worst way. I woke up to construction noise, which was just, Terrible. I think that's the worst way to wake up. I actually woke up today like that as well. Picture that. Yes, I woke up today like that. And it was just, it was the worst. And then it just stopped, and then I finally fell back to sleep. Uh, I actually burnt dinner, which I, I, I was cooking and, and trying to make videos, and then it, that, that, that doesn't work out. If you're going to cook, make sure you cook. And we're just going to have a nice cup of coffee or, or tea. Uh, juicy Taz. <laughs> it looks like we could listen to someone. It looks like they were playing a piano or something like that. But yeah, it was a bad day, uh, but I made the best of it. Uh, you, got, you gotta always do that. You gotta always find something good about the day and try to make it, make it the best of that day. So let's roll into the next joke right now. Again, we have a few more. Uh, this one was by Gage Mills. All right, what do you call a pig who plays tug of war? Which tug of war uh, is a game where you kind of go back and forth uh, like with a rope and you have to see who wins. Which I remember playing tug of war as a kid. It was probably like one of the funnest games. Like if I had to name off some, some games that I used to play as a kid like tug of war, uh, freeze tag, hide and seek of course. Which was amazing childhood experience uh, with games uh, like that. So anyway, what, 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 what do you call the pig? <laughs> You're going to call it pull pork. <laughs> I thought that was quite hilarious as well. And that was a pretty high jump from up there. And last but not least, uh, we have a joke by Emily Jane. And she goes, uh, what do you get when you cross an elephant and a fish? I'll give it a few seconds for you guys to try to answer it. Uh, don't Google it. Try to answer it. Uh, <laughs> and it, this one's very, very funny and very unique. Okay, so the answer is going to be swimming trunks. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was another <laughs> hilarious joke as well. You get like an elephant and a fish swimming trunk. I don't know why I like never thought of that. I feel like I could come up with some of these jokes or riddles if I actually just just think and actually try uh, to actually come up with them. I do like these buildings though, as far as like you can actually see through them. Now I don't know if hmm. I always thought ice was was the best was the best window thing to use. Like if someone was building, you know, something. Oh, this is a very very tall building. I totally thought it just stopped right there. This almost looks like the main like central intelligence like kind of a place right now. And look at look how far that is. That is that is that is dangerous. That is, that is super high right there. Let's go ahead and go through here. I bet I have the best reception up here, like in my cell phone. Uh, this is floor, I think that was floor 21. So I think, are, are there only 21 floors? And it goes up this high. This looks like a dinner place here where you can actually eat uh, as well, which looks cool because, uh, again, I'm still hungry. I, I didn't get a chance to get my cookies at all from Juicy Taz. So I'm really hoping at some point. He has some cookies. We're going to go down. Oh, this was, I think that was floor 20. There's a lot of floors though, but I'm really surprised. It was only 21 floors. Like this, this is a very, very tall building. I don't know if it goes up to the sky limit, uh, but it was very tall. Second floor observatory, uh, which here, I think you can just pretty much observe like everything. It seems like that looks like also a giant TV right over there uh, as well. Like that was like right over the thing. It almost looks like for the whole city to watch. <laughs> <laughs> imagine having that like imagine having a giant TV just facing outside like for other people to watch TV that'd be pretty cool like if you had like a no no because then you may have a crowd of people standing outside of your house watching TV through your through your window so that that won't be fine but that's only if you had like a giant mansion like made of glass you have TV uh, a giant TV like outside facing out just to see like I, I don't that that wouldn't work out I tend to rant on on some random thoughts here <laughs> Uh, this is uh, Rockefeller Center, uh, which he actually built this. This is a replica uh, as well. So this was very, very cool. Uh, I thought this was awesome. So great job on replicating uh, the Rockefeller Center uh, there. Uh, so let's move on to the other end of this one. I felt like I, I, I thought... Uh, wait, what is it? Is that a, it's, it's, I, th I think that was, I don't know. I thought that was like a swimming pool or something like that, right? It, it might be a swimming pool. Is it, it, it looks like a race, like we can actually race in there. It seems like that, that's what it seems like. Now, I don't think the interior is done on this one. Uh, again, I th uh, Juicy Taz is actually updating his world, uh, which I'll try to keep mentioning that as well, just to keep that bear in mind uh, that he's updating the world so uh and and hopefully uh i can actually actually probably get some pictures or something from him uh, uh on the world uh, as well i don't know how it works like normally with creative cribs um they're very friendly about you guys joining in the world and actually checking out uh, again a lot of people have become best friends over the series which has just been uh, a phenomenal experience the fact that you know people are still friends to this day i've also met some amazing friends and still friends to this day uh through creative cribs you'd be surprised uh the 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 the, the amount of people that actually love to build and actually have a, a passion for building in general and i think when those people connect uh, it's, it's almost like a connection for a very, very long time. Maybe even forever. But uh, let's go ahead and go through this one. Oh, with a nice little chandelier there. Uh, and this one looks like the center. I, I thought this was, ooh, that's a nice ceiling. Uh, kinda, you can kind of see up all the way. I was always always wanted like a full glass ceil ceiling. But I was like, mm. no, it was quite scary. Because uh, I used to have a, a bathroom that had a, a window on the very top. And it was very, very scary because at night, like it would just be super creepy because I felt like what if like there's a spaceman like staring down and I don't know. And I'll never know because if I look up, it's dark and I can't. It, it just it's just very, very scary. Uh, <laughs> and I think like if you ever see a scary movie or anything like that, I think instantly the bathroom is probably the scariest place to go after seeing a scary movie. Just like entering a bathroom is just instantly scary i guess because you're in there alone possibly i think that's what makes it scary but but yeah anyway i don't know how i got on talking about <laughs> scary movies nice building here looks like a cathedral or a church i think this is actually a church here let's go ahead and go inside and see is there anything on the board like other is there any builders or something like that what is this 
Uh, this is church and something youth group t-shirts. Oh, okay. And I, again, I like the fact that he, he named things like he actually had things going on, uh, too. I thought that was very neat as well. Like, like I said, you can get youth t-shirts and all that good stuff. Uh, and it, it was great and nice church here. I think it, if those, like everyone who builds like a modern, like kind of a place and moment of silence, moment of silence. But yeah, anyone who builds uh, like a giant place, like modern city or or something like that along those lines, I think a church is a necessity. Like uh, it, it's, it's been very few worlds that I've toured, like modern cities, even like even medieval towns, uh, survival worlds, uh, anything like that. Um, almost everyone has like a, a, a church in their building and and the cathedrals uh like look amazing like especially the ceilings uh which is one thing i love like looking at whenever i i see like cathedrals or or castles or churches or things like that uh just absolutely incredible there so great great job uh on that one but yeah that's pretty much it for today's episode of creative cribs i do hope you all have enjoyed and hopefully you got a little laugh out of those jokes i do want to say i thank you guys uh, for dropping those down below in the comments if you do have some jokes feel free to drop them down and maybe i'll mention them uh within a few episodes of creative cribs but yeah uh again i hope you've enjoyed and i hope you will all be here to tune in for next uh episode of creative cribs which will be out sunday at 11 a.m eastern time and until the next i will talk to you guys later Peace out. Bye.